Oh, look at that, it's perfect. <laughs> what is happening, people? This is welcome back to another video. I'm T2 Sugars, Welsh artist, and today I am in Newport, specifically Newport Bus. And uh, this is the depot where they, all the buses are kept. And the areas I'm painting are the three little areas. I say little, they're pretty big up above. So I've got a lovely mute to get me up there. Just got it all set up now, ready to rock and roll, so I can get up and start marking out the design. So today, I'm hopefully gonna get the design marked out and painted the majority of this side, and hopefully by this afternoon, it's nearly this afternoon now, but later on, might start marking out the design of the middle section. But yeah, all in all, today has been very slow, but we've got a lot to do in this week, and hopefully this heat wave stays, so I can carry on painting. So let's get it started. So we're introducing my lovely moot. This is my steed for the week and he gets me up to where I need to. So we just marked out everything with a little bit of a loose grid to get the feel of where we need to put everything. This is what I like to call a bus. Not any old bus, it's an electric bus. But here are the first lines going in. I'm copying everything off my phone. I use a lovely app called Bazart. Link to the app is down in my description. It's a free app, go use it. There's one little advert on it. It's perfect for all of your doodle grid needs. And now I'm starting to mark out my lovely daffodils, the Welsh flower. It is by far the prettiest flower of all the flowers. And I'm starting to mark out every single little tiny detail because I am I always take absolutely forever to mark out my drawings because I like to get each and every individual bit in the right area. Now we get the fillet. It's starting to all come together. We add in the dark shades first. I like to start off with the browns and add the yellows. And get lighter and lighter until all of the flower comes into perspective. And if anybody wants to guess how long these daffodils took me, they took a roughly about two and a half hours from start to finish. I had a little bit of a nightmare. I did my grid in a very dark gray, so I suffered in the long run with getting rid of the gray. But here we can see the real light tones of the yellow going in, and the, the beautiful yellows are starting to really pop off. And I think it's coming up to time to have a coffee. And here I'm trying to add in all the smaller details to the front of the bus. Using a little bit of paper, I can get that straight edge as straight as possible. Bashing that can on my knee. I know all you don't like that, but that's how I get my cans woken up, ready for spraying. Smash it on your kneecap, you can't feel a thing. Well, I can't anyway, so that's how I get my cans ready for paint. Wheels are always the hardest bit to paint on any vehicle. Making sure that you get that egg shape exactly right. Ellipse is called not an egg shape, you absolute dingbat. But we got it in the end and we made it look exactly like a wheel. Now add in little highlights here and there, the bus is coming to life. Ready for the wheels, here we go. I think I got them pretty spot on. And I'm really happy with the way they turned out. All I had left to do on this day was finish off the front and make sure I had all of my lines nice and straight with a nice piece of paper. So it is day two on this one at Newport Bus. We have one section done. I've done my daffodils, which are on the left side there. And I've got to put a bit of writing on the bottom end of here. 
but not much chatting yesterday. I just wanted to get it done and it was very hot and I had a lot less day to work with because I didn't even get the mute around you until about half past 11. Yeah, about half past 11. But all in all, working off this platform is quite nice because the paint is literally right behind you. You don't have people bothering you, talking to you in the street and stuff. So you're just up there. The engine of the, the moot keeps everything, all the distractions at bay. It's quite nice actually, but um, I'm gonna get up now and carry on painting. Let's get up and start painting. So I'm starting on section two. I haven't totally finished on section one yet. I just gotta add a couple of bits of details here and there. And this day is a much shorter day than the rest of them. As in, I have to go home and collect my children from school. So this, it takes me uh, a good hour and a half to even get to the location and an hour and a half to get back. So all in all, today is probably around about four hours work. So getting in this background, marking out the letters, making sure that everything's straight, takes some time. So today I didn't really get a lot of work done, but I got this green to yellow fade going on. And uh, the whole premise of it was get the, the left side of the two of the three murals green and some skills there. And then on the right side, the right mural would be basically yellow so the, the the center piece then would be a transition from green to yellow so that was the premise of going from green to yellow so yeah a little, little time lapse there of it all coming together and that is probably it for today so we are on to day three i'm starting this on top of the old cherry picker scissor lift whatever you want to call it moot don't know where you're from but they all call it different things so we're on to the second section now. I haven't totally finished the first section yet. I've just got to put some writing on there and there's the words electric bus and a little battery charging up the side. I'm going to do that with masking tape. So masking tape it all off and draw it on, cut it out, spray it, jobs are good. But I'm on to the logo part of it now. So I've kind of roughly sketched it in with a pen using a bit of rope to get the circle perfect. So uh, all in all, it's going very well. It is boiling. Boiling is an understatement, but the paint is going on lovely. We've got this nice fade on this center section. And then come tomorrow, I have a headache to deal with, with the light that is uh, below the section I'm painting for the third part. Working with this thing is an absolute dream. If I had a tower, this would have been an absolute nightmare of a job climbing up and down all the time where now I just go beep up and down with a control pad so yeah first time really using something like this I've used cherry pickers before but the first time using a massive scissor lift like this but yeah I'm gonna crack on and paint in and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying my term lapses because you're on a term lapse over there let's go Little trick if you're doing letters and you want to freehand them in, make me use some masking tape so that you got all the letters all nice and straight like this. Oh, yes. A little tip there for all you beginners. Oh, and what's going on here? Some interesting events. The guy in orange wants to pay the homeless guy £20 to punch him in the stomach. But he can't flinch. Oh, he seems to have flinched there and he gets to another go. Let's wind up a big punch now. This guy is a complete another idiot. 
he flinched again he's not getting the 20 pound and they are going to get in the car and drive off stay classy newport you're one of a kind so day four on this one we are on to section three and uh we are going to be putting a back of a bus and a dragon but all in all it's going very well we have the weather again because it's bloody lovely here in wheels we're just going to get this dragon marked out now how i do it all is draw a little grid on the wall i got a picture of the dragon which sits just on the kiosk booth which is just around the corner here and um i'm just going to mark that out then i got a picture off online of the back of a bus so what the the premise of it is then is that the first panel end is going to look like the, the buses are driving out and then they're driving back in here so it's like kind of like doing a loop that is the idea of it all so uh yeah i'm gonna mark out my dragon then mark out the back of a bus and we'll see how far we get on with the day now i just put the background in and i always try to do the background first i kind of like get the generic block colors in and what i mean by block colors is bulking out the area so like there's no detail in anything it's just the generic stuff the generic color in that area and then i come back and see there's a lot of like overspray from the background so here then i'll go back in now and put all the details in add the highlights and everything but I like to work this way. Normally, I'd like to do it this way, but a lot of the other time, I get a little bit too excited and then I just like to get all of the color in so that I know that color is correct. Now the background is done, I can work on the detail of the dragon. I can then do the back of the bus on the side here. And that section will near enough be finished then. I'm gonna crack on paint this and um, I'll see you at the end of the day. So we're on to day five and I didn't cut any stencils last night. That's why we are straight back here. But I'm just using a grog cutter, it's called. And uh, we're just marking out all of the generic shapes, all of the, the letters. And then when it needs a little bit more vibrancy, I just go straight back in with the spray paint can and just go inside of the edges that I've already marked out. So it's a lot easier to do it this way rather than try to do it just with a spray paint can you a lot more control with a pen but yeah just go back in then and touch it all up so that's what i'm doing now then i'm going to mark out the word electric bus in english and in welsh because we are in wales at the end of the day so everything needs to be bilingual i think it's called and that is what i'm doing today so let's crack on so here are the final bits that I need to do on the whole mural. The grog cutters I'm using is a 15mm grog cutter and an 8mm grog cutter. The 8mm is what I use to get the spacings correct of each letter. The 15mm is what I use to make the letters bigger, fatter and lovely. And the ink comes out magnificently on these grog cutters. I really recommend them as a product. They are awesome for any letters that you're doing that are very straight or if you just want to go tag it, whatever you're into. But as I said, these are the final little touches to the whole mural. And I've had so many kind remarks from all the passersby of Newport. Newport, you've been brilliant. And here is the final result. That is it for Newport bus. We have the three sections all done now. I'm super happy with it. 
and if you guys enjoyed watching this time lapse come together and all of the work that i've done please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one peace